Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and we got to go over Cole Bennett's rise and some of his come up rules that you can learn from the way he became a success. Now let's hop into it. Now number one, if you don't know Cole Bennett somehow, then Cole Bennett is the editor, videographer who's behind the channel Lyrical Lemonade. Now at, I believe, like 4.5 million subscribers on YouTube. But he started off as just another kid from the suburbs of Chicago. The interesting thing about how he got started is he said he knew he wanted to make better videos than a lot of other people, but the signature style that he's actually known for really came from the fact that he didn't really have a lot of money. He didn't have a big budget. So to be able to shoot a video on one location was cool. That just meant he had to spend more time on his editing process so he could make the video more unique. And this is how you got that signature style that he's known for, the psychedelic animations and colors that you see in all of his videos. And another interesting thing to note when we really talk about how he started to separate himself from the pack is a lot of videographers start to keep their videos on their channel. If they do somebody's music video, they put it on their channel. You see that with other brands as well. Cole Bennett definitely said he made that decision early, but not only did having his videos on one channel help him get a little following that way, he went the extra step by actually starting to have shows in Chicago. So this actually extended his influence under this same brand as well. He made Lyrical Lemonade, which was a blog. So now you have three touch points. You have the YouTube channel, you have the blog, and then you have shows. And it's even more helpful that he did it under a brand name that he could operate under so he can really start to impact and touch culture. Those three touch points, as opposed to just saying, hey, I got a blog, or hey, I got this YouTube page and I'm trying to get people to see, created a system of awareness in the same way you might do for an artist, except it did it for his brain and himself. And I'm sure, you know, bringing in that money as he does videos for people at the same time. Being truly entrepreneurial in the business really set him up for the foundation to rise and have the impact and strong foundation of influence on the game that he has today. So as you start to allow that to culminate over time, next thing you know, Cole Bennett's in a position where he's a tastemaker, not just a videographer, not just an editor, not just some promoter who has shows here in town every once in a while. He's a true tastemaker because now he's positioned as basically the guy who puts all the SoundCloud rappers on. Record labels watch his channel to see who's up next. People watch his channel to see who's up next. And with that in mind, you also consider him having a real touch point within culture by having his shows. So whoever he brings out to his show can be a way of introducing a new artist, but he also is bringing bigger artists to actually have that base in the culture as well. Having multiple touch points on the culture, but doing it where the system is actually playing off of each other can really help you build a strong brand. And now he's in a position, if he wanted to start some kind of record label, he could. If he wanted to just have one artist and manage an artist, he could. If he wanted to start a shirt, clothing brand, apparel, which he basically has done already, he can do that. But it's really about setting a system and foundation for your business up. And that's really the key to Cole Bennett's impact. He's not just an editor. He's not just a videographer. He does all these things, but he keeps a close pulse on the culture because he stays within it by doing all his business within it. And that set him up for this growth. It's not like he grew to 4.5 million overnight, but he did get an accelerated growth after his channel really started catching on and he caught that niche because last year, August of 2017, but he only had like, it was less than 400,000 subscribers on YouTube a year later. August 2018, he has like 4.5 million subscribers. That's fast growth, way faster than he had been growing previously, which was a nice pace in itself at that time. So if you're a manager or you're just some kind of brand within the culture, figure out how you can give back to the culture at the same time that you grow and benefit. And that's gonna help you stay within it and even more so influence it in the long run. I hear a lot of artists talking about, oh man, 
I don't want to have to do something else just to be a successful artist. I want to just do music and win that way. Well, if you have a record label and they're doing everything for you, you can just do music and it's all about the music. But the truth is, it's never been just about the music. A lot of times the record label have been doing other things. The music was definitely more weighty back in the day, but there was always more work to do than just the music. But I'm not even gonna get too deep into that. What do you think? What are your thoughts on not only Cole Bennett, but this whole thing about artists not wanting to do too much work or feeling like it should be about just the music and they don't wanna do those other things? Put those comments in the comment section below. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.